Portugal against England. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Hi, everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. So, off we go, then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Wayne Rooney captures the imagination for me. Uh, by the time this fella retires, he'll have many a record to his name, and, and all achieved because of a burning desire to be the best. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Nani. It's a loose ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Looks like a good ball through. Brave effort, total commitment. And he attacked that ball with real conviction. Just such a pity about the end result. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. Jao Mario gets it back. Jao Moutinho plays a clever pass. Tries a through ball. Smalling gets it away. Rooney. Aimed long and direct. Now the pass. Pepe. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Cristiano Ronaldo tries to stroke it through. Rose. Rooney. Sterling. Dyer. Deli Alley. Dyer. Rooney. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Deli Alley. If anyone is going to break the deadlock, now would be a good time. Now it's Rooney. Sterling looking to get on the end of this. Wonderful quick feet. Gomez. Forward it goes. Nani into opposition territory. Oh, great ball. The whistle goes for half-time. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. Portugal can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Jao Mario. And it's Jao Moutinho. Now it's Kane. Kane pushes it out wide. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Pepe. Nani is effectively being marked out of the game here. Well, he could end up like a lost sheep, Peter, because they're trying to shepherd him everywhere he doesn't want to go. Fiorina. Away from immediate danger. Looks to slip it through. Dashing forward at pace. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's, that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Chip through. Jao Moutinho showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. 
Cahill pumps it upfield. Deli Alley looks to thread it through. Lalana looking to get on the end of this. England have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. <laughs> Who's going to make this theirs? Nani. Rose. Listen, it may well finish this way because it's been so tight all the way through, but equally, we might still get a moment of magic, a mistake or a refereeing decision to influence otherwise. Five minutes left on the clock. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Jao Mario knocks it towards the front. The final whistle. Uh, frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff.